Vlogmas day number seven. It is beautiful, it is sunshiny, and it is stinking cold out here. The wind's blowing. I'm fixing to go and check on Jason. Not check on him, he's doing his job. I'm just gonna go check and see. I just wanna go talk to him. So I'm gonna go check and talk with Jason about how we're coming along on our clay out here. They've been bringing loads back and forth for our show barn. And while I wait for Ellie to bring us a gator, us being me then i'm going to open up this beehive which i think to be dead if you look right there there are all kinds of dead bees at the entrance that kind of makes me think that the ones inside are dead too so it could go bad more dead bees at the top I don't see or hear anything in there, but it is sealed, so my pocket knife out to pop that bad boy open. Okay, they're dead. Or there's a very small cluster in the bottom. I'm gonna guess that they're dead. We had a real bad year. There was 10 hives here to start with and they all got affected some way during the flood. Ooh. A bunch just came out right there, did you see that? We're in that one. All the hives got affected in some way or another during the flood. I don't think there's any capped honey in this anywhere. There's a bunch of bees with the little butt sticking out. Wish I could get one frame to show you. I don't have a hive tool though, it's a problem. Just trying to just pull it. Mm. No, nope, it's stuck on there. Well, what I was hoping is that even though these bees is dead, mm. the, the colony, that maybe I could at least find some capped honey in there. We could take it in and put it on a biscuit for breakfast in the morning, but. It looks like that's not the case. We're just gonna have to break this down and clean it out one day when we get a chance. That's not today though. Here's the gator. I'm gonna go get on it and we're gonna ride up the road and check on them digging out that clay bank. What do I need to do about that? Well, you want me to just haul it for you tomorrow? Well, what's, I mean, you probably got a bunch of stuff to do. You lost half a day yesterday. Because uh, I can get them to, to, to deliver it, and it's not that expensive, you know, yeah. and that would save on time. That's fine. But uh, the spreading of it, what do we need to do about that, and what's the I timeline? Can, I can just leave the dozer down here. Okay. And then we can get gravel down here that we need. Okay. I do my transit, make sure everything's good. Okay. And it should be good after that. So with no skid steer, we don't need a skid steer. Okay. When do you want it here? Or it'd be great. Okay. All right. Uh, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to get that smoothed out today. Okay. If not, it's gonna be first thing in the morning. I'll get it smoothed out. I'll, I'll and everything. So if I told them uh, midday or afternoon tomorrow, yeah, that would be great. okay. With that, what about timeline? Is that gonna throw Jason off on his next jobs? Okay. I'm going to house. That's, I, I figure he's my cousin. I really don't care. That's what I'm saying. He's my brother. I really <laughs> yeah, yeah. Care. All right, I want to go see this. Bye-bye. 
bike up here. And I guess this is his dog, so I probably ought to pet it. I guess this dog fetches. All right, let's see it, buddy. Oh, yeah. You supposed to pick it up and bring it back. Come on. There we go. <laughs> He's having a hard time picking his stick up. You can do it, buddy. I don't know if he's having a hard time or he's just enjoying the play. Come on. You can do it. Good boy. <laughs> a girl, you a girl? Yeah, I think you're a girl. There you go. Well, you gotta give it to me. You got to, oh, you wanna play like that? All right, there you go. How many loads you got, Jason? I think this is gonna be seven, I think. Anywhere close? <laughs> I don't be it's gonna be all day. I told Megan, I said they'll be lucky yeah. if they get it done today. We got lights. Yeah. The headlights on the dump truck ain't that great, but it'll be good enough to get it done. Yeah. And then more than likely I'm probably just gonna have to come back first thing in the morning and smooth it and okay. throw okay. the transit on it. Which I don't know uh how many loads of gravel you wanna to try to get in here? Not really, whatever you tell me. I well, with a triaxle, and I would, I would almost think. I tell you what, I, it, you saw my driveway. Mm -hmm. I think that took either four or five trucks. Really? Mm -hmm. Right. I'm gonna have to look at it good, yeah. and uh, I'll let you know that. Because I mean, we can sit down and calculate that, can't we? You can, yeah. There's a there's a way you can go about doing all that. How thick you want it? Yep. I, I almost think six would be enough. I almost would. You could just put a good layer over everything. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if you want it to roll off the edges with it too or not. I don't know. What do you think? If, if you know, Let me say this. If there's going to be pat, cl rolling clay, mm -hmm. I think so. Um, he's he's getting all the topsoil and stuff out, so it should be pretty good stuff we're, we're putting down. Yeah. He's, tra he's trying his best. And I, look, I was watching him. There's not hardly any rocks in it, is there? There's not a lot. <laughs> you know that thing? Uh, I came down here after the first one, and it was sitting in the next one. <laughs> That's what he said. He said it rode with him for 30 minutes. It did. I was like, what? And there's a black one that comes out here in both of them. You got to play fetch with both of them. Well, he's, yeah. He starts in that mess right there. Uh, then he's getting me filthy. <laughs> Get.
It's sticking in there, ain't it? He's getting a lot of it sticking in the back of that bed. He mentioned that earlier. I didn't realize it was that bad. Boy, he about got stuck in his head. Look at this. This is not good for the field, but it is what it is. We'll fix it later. They're going to take a dinner break and I'm going to run to town and get some sack feed from co-op. Maybe catch Megan and see if she'd go eat a sandwich with me. We're at the co-op and who do I see? Isn't that sheer beauty? Just look at her. Yeah, we'll get full price for it. But you gotta let me list your house too. What do you mean you can't list it because it's already for sale? We'll buy another house and we'll list that one. No, I'm not paying closing costs. You're gonna pay those. Sandwiches, we got the sandwiches. We got the sandwiches. Look at that bad boy. Take a bite, show me how good it is. Oh my gosh, look at that. Look, oh my, she, she got it all <laughs> over her face. These are good sandwiches. You call the house phone? Well, it looks like there's a truck in the way here at the co-op and it's gonna be hard to park my big old trailer that I thought was gonna be easier to leave hooked up than unhook so you might get to see me wreck at the co-op yeah this ain't gonna work yeah you just starting out you've been on there for a while oh i've been serious about a year now What's the name of it? My name, Brandon S. Baker. Really? Yes, sir. Yeah, go check it out. We're also going to go ahead and pay our tri green bill while we're up here. We got a, uh, a service bill, and I brought Megan so I can use some of her money to pay for it. What do you think? I don't have my wallet. You're out of luck. It'll be all right. I'm going to pay for it. She don't pay for nothing. We got all of our town running done. We got these heifers and, no, we've got a heifer and a cow caught in here. We're fixing to run them in the chute. All right. How are you day? Right. You see my my monster truck rally we're having out here? I see that. <laughs> I came out earlier. They had it stuck, pushing it with the dozer, getting it out of the field. <laughs> I'll take them when they can come, though. Yeah. First rain again. Friday, Saturday. So there. Lord willing, we'll be done with the pad tomorrow. Uh -huh. And then uh, Tuesday of next week, they're gonna be here with the package to put the show barn up. All so, right. Yes, sir. Good deal. It's just gonna be a roof right now, but That's as right. I get some more money, I'll put it together. That's all right. Gotta start it. Yes, sir. You ready to breed some cattle? You bet. Yes, sir. Um, I so you had one more come in? Yes, sir. Good and, deal. And that other one, uh, I mean, what do you do? Breed her, give her a shot of sister Ellen. Okay. All right. Cross your fingers. All right. That watch being... her come in heat in about two days. Sure. Sure. If he does, 
If you got semen and you want to, we'll come back and breed her again. If she does that, I'm just going to leave her to the next round, and uh, and then we'll Catch try her on again. another, gr another yes. group. Yes, sir. Because I'm going to wear you a set of tires. Ellie or Maggie, somebody go to the show box in the back of the trailer and get the bottle of Sister Ellen. It's a blue bottle. And we need to see what straws of semen we want. Well, have you been breeding cattle today or have you had today off? No, I've been doing 80 ish cows a day. My word. Eat, pulling cedars and getting them ready for recepts oh. or to AI. 150 tomorrow. And he said, bring the horse too. I just want to bring the horse. Oh no. That's always a big no. Of course, I turned her out the other day because I wasn't doing anything with her. Now I got to catch her back. Yes, sir. Um, you've got a thawer over here. I'm, mm -hmm. I've, I've got the first one. They're in two different canes. Ellie, come here, camera lady. You can see what's going on on there. All right, the first one's in cane two, and it's one seven five one. It's just one straw bit. counting when he said that he said that we we was gonna do about 30 and the first group was 25. Oh me. Okay in the second one y'all wanted Magnolia to Pilgrim right? I think so. Four zero six four zero seven six seven four zero seven six seven and cane six. It's just one of them, Mr. Tommy. Would you grab that? There we go. Thank you, ma'am. Got more layers on today. Yes, sir. Ooh, it was cold this morning. Outside and watch you today. I was on the other side yesterday. Now, what are those for? These? Yes, sir. These is what holds the straws of semen inside of the AI gun. Okay. And it also, you change one out every time you breed a cow, that way you don't uh, transfer any kind of diseases. Okay. Okay, I'm ready for a patient. Okay. Just tell me, would you work his head shoot if I go in there? Sure. Go in there, get away. No, it ain't big enough for her. You need to keep her back. Well, don't butt nobody. Girls. Somebody come in here. Get your head out of that. Get your head out. Come on.
Well, you're just a pain, ain't you? Come on. We got that split them all over for reason. Yes, sir. Get up here. Get in there. Twist your tail. I can't. Get in there, you pain. I've got her. I don't. I, is there a plate on the bottom? Put them. Now push her up. Alright. Okay, what are we gonna bring this lady to? She is that that uh, half half cc of red semen. Half or quarter? That's it, uh quarter. I keep saying half, you're right. It's the red one, the quarter. Thank you. I've been doing it since 1977. So. I told Megan that last night. I said, he's been doing this since the 70s. Can't you imagine what a life that's been? <laughs> I bet you it's been enjoyable, hasn't it? It's been, I've been showing since 71. And I have been breeding cows since 77. Wow. Where'd you go to your tech school at? Columbia State. Er now, perfect. Be nice to go. Discharge. I don't think she's in, do you? We'll see how easy she is to get through the cervix. A lot of times they'll go ahead and ovulate and never show signs of heat. Which I don't like. Because they'll still go ahead and get bred. Our cervix feels like felt just like the others last night. You know, it just it just fell right through the cervix. So that makes me think that whenever they're not, that there's opposition. Is that what you mean? You said when it fell right through the cervix. There's, I mean, it was just there was, yeah. There was no there was nothing keeping. Me, I mean, it, she was dilated enough, like she's like she should have been riding like crazy. Oh, I see. Uh, and of course, I mean she hasn't been. Right. But uh, her cervix was, it was very mature and very easily to, to pass the gun through. That's kind of what I go by. Okay. Now you're not gonna like this and I neither. <laughs> All right. So she did. She bent that needle. <laughs> oh, she wasn't gonna wait. Did you see that? All right, now I gotta move this over because her head's so big. We've gotta readjust this chute to this specific cow. I'm gonna be loading and be ready to go for patient number two. On this rank. On this rank, that's right. All right. I think that'll do it. Right, Here, girls. Ready when she gets ready. Now, she come in last night. This morning, I've been on the go so much I don't know. Whenever, whenever I got home about thirty minutes before you got here, she was completely orange. Okay. 
Okay. Never seen a ride, never do anything like that, but I've been on the road. Well, her tail head's roughed up besides yeah. the pack being on, so it's, she's in, has been in. But she's not riding or doing anything now, so that's always plus. Supposedly the heifer sex semen does not do as good on cows as it does on heifers. Oh, I didn't know that. And you need to wait hours later on the heifer with, on whatever you use the heifer sex semen, you need to wait longer. Of course, I wait longer anyway, because a lot of people get nervous with me, but... You know, the success rate shows, don't it? Well, they, well, you're taught in school 12 hours. Me, 14, 16, I have bred some of mine when I got to them, 24 hours later, they catch. Stop. I wouldn't do that, I wouldn't recommend doing that, yeah. but uh, 16, 18 hours, I don't get worried about it. Especially heifer sex semen now, still don't get, uh, that's, you're still not none too why, early. Why does that make a difference? Why does the sex, the heifer sex semen make a difference? You won't make, you don't, when they first come out with it, you only had quarter cc straws. Mm -hmm. Now, ST Genetics has gone quarter cc straws on conventional and heifer sex. So their, their thoughts was you're only putting half as much and you want to make sure that she's already, she's getting real close or already oh. ovulated to where that egg is already coming down to where it meets up with the semen. I see, because there's less volume of it. Less volume. There. You want me to come in, girls? Sure, Don't run her in here while I'm in this chute. Mm -hmm. I'll catch you. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Yeah, that I caught me. Oh. Man, I know that hurt. Yes, sir. Come on. I'm mad now. You don't want to mess with me, man. No, you. Get in there. Chat, 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 chat. Come on, girl. She rubbed that manure on me. Look at that. Oh, it was that back gate, wasn't it? Uh -huh. Come on. Tommy, you might have to open up them sides too, right there. She might be too big now that I'm looking at her. Yep. Okay. There you go. Well, I'm, I missed it on the second one. <laughs> I missed my head on the second oh. time through. Let me sit her down. Uh, I think she'll be okay. Pretty dark out here and you can't really see anything but i'm confident we're not ready for gravel when we had planned to have it tomorrow i'm gonna call jason when i get in the house <clears throat> he was still here when i got back home from getting feed but mr tommy was showing up and by the time that uh, i came outside it was time to breed the cows jason had to leave we didn't get to coordinate so i need to call him and make sure but it looks like it's probably a wrap for day six they've gone to the house we're done breeding the cows and it's cold and I'm ready to go ahead and take a shower. So don't forget, hit the subscribe button. If you want to follow us on Instagram, it's at bakerfamilyfarms.com. You can still see our website at www.hoofandhive.com, but Lord willing, we're slowly going to be transferring that over to www.bakerfamilyfarms.com. We won it in an online auction recently. We've been waiting two years to do that, so we're super excited about it. That's www.bakerfamilyfarms.com. So if you go there, it might be hooked up already. It might not. You can still look at it at hoofandhive.com. We're going to keep that one up for a while just so there's no confusion. You can still get our products. Thank you for joining us for this day number six of Vlogmas. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Merry Christmas. God bless you. Look forward to seeing you tomorrow.